Hello, Micro here. Today using Photoshop CS4, I'd like to show you how to create a simple button that you can use in your um, DVD menu. And what this button will do is it will be recognized by Encore and it will highlight and I'll show you how to choose the different colors and I'll show you how to make it to where Encore will recognize it. If what you're looking for is better designs for your buttons, a quick YouTube search will find those for you. This, is the, this video is just going to show you how to implement this in Encore. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new group. So just come down here, click on the new group layer, and here we have our new group. Now let's go ahead and rename this group so that Encore will recognize it. To do that, just simply double click on it, and we're going to have to type in parentheses plus parentheses button space one. Now what this does is the parentheses with the plus allows Encore to know that this will be a button and it will list it as a button when we import it. Keeping with our simple button theme, we're going to go ahead and create a new text layer. Now make sure that you have the button group that you just created selected and you can press T anywhere and that'll start a new type layer or we can come over here to the left hand tool panel and click on the type layer and that will create a new layer. Now up here I've selected my font of nightclub. Um, my text point is at 18 which I find is a good size for a standard DVD. And now just click anywhere and start typing. Since this is a, a wedding video, I'm just going to type in our wedding memories. And now to deselect the type layer, we can simply come over here to our layers panel and click on the type layer and that will deselect it. Or you can always come up and click on the move tool to deselect. And since I'm going to have to move what I just typed anyway, I'll click on the move tool and let me align this where I'd like. There we go. That looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this a drop shadow. So you can come over here and right click on the text layer. And go up to blending options and tick the drop shadow and press OK. I already have this set up so I'm just going to keep it with my presets because this isn't about making a button, it's about making it to where it works in Encore. Now we're going to create a layer that will be our highlight layer. This will give us the color when we highlight or move our mouse over the option or choose it with our DVD player. So make sure that you have this button group selected or something in the button group. Click on create new layer and we're going to have to rename this layer so that Encore will recognize it. So just simply click on the name, parentheses equal one parentheses. Now we can have up to three numbers chosen for this. Each number will indicate what color we're going to use. So parentheses one will be the first color I choose, um, equal two would be the second, equal three would be the third if you need more than the one color. Now we're going to have to make a design and then color in our highlight so that it's noticeable. So over here on the left I'm going to go ahead and choose a rectangle marquee tool. You could use round or you could you could do pretty much anything you like um, or even create a better looking button. And I'm just simply going to make a square box. Once we have this highlighted we're going to want to color it in. So back over here on the toolbar we, we choose the paint bucket, come over and we choose a color. I think yellow is a good color to use for a highlight. And we come back over here and we paint in our square that we just made. Now this is way too dark. I'd actually like to be able to see through this. So there's a good simple way of fixing this. First thing I'm going to do is come back up and choose the move tool just so that I don't end up painting everything else. And over here on the right in our layers panel we can change the opacity. 
Now you can either click on it and s use the slider and watch it in real time to see what it looks like, but I think 50% works well, so I'm just going to click 50%. And when we come over here and look at it, you can see through that pretty well. Now to deselect the marquee tool, you just use Control D. At this point, it's not going to matter if you have this yellow highlight show up or not, because Encore will be choosing what to do with it. And what, I'll, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and save this, and we'll show you how to get in there and use it in Encore. So go File, Save As, and of course we're going to want to save it as a PSD. Just save it wherever you like. I usually save it to the desktop so that I can find it easily. Now I won't be using the Zoom tool here in Encore, because my um, screen recorder has the same hotkeys as some of the keys in Encore, so I'll just basically walk you through this. To import your DVD menu, over here on the left we have menus. Just highlight that, click anywhere in the work area, and then find the location where you saved your Photoshop DVD menu to. Double click on it and bring it on in. You can double click on it to make sure it shows up here where we're working on it. And here I just simply have my two buttons. So just double click on one of them, or highlight it, and look over here on the right under Properties. And right here we have the Auto, auto Activate. If you just simply click on that, that will make it highlight whenever you hover the mouse over it, or whenever you select it with the DVD player. We have to come down here to our second button and do the same thing. But if you look down here, you in these different panels, it's also listed under the layer panel. And you can just simply highlight it here. It will show you where the highlighted part of the button will be and auto activate. And this way, everything's all set up. We have the colors set up that Encore recognizes. We have the buttons to where they'll be recognized. And now we have the auto select to where Encore will recognize it. Now that we have this done, once you finish your flowchart, we can do a preview to make sure that these highlighted buttons are going to show up. If you go to File, Preview, and depending on the speed of your computer, this might take a little longer for it to switch the highlight buttons. But just hold your mouse there a minute. And it just keeps switching back and forth as you choose one. This will let you know that, it, that this actually will be working when you're done with the menu and the flowchart and have everything ready to go. I hope this video is helpful to you. Please be sure to rate and comment. Thank you.